Good morning, Waynesville. Welcome to another episode of Tiger TV. I'm Reagan. And I'm Duncan. To start out this newscast, we have a special story from our classmates, Travis and Sean, all about PE credits and the classes that deserve them. Archery Man deserve, deserves a PE credit because it requires a whole bunch of cardiovascular endurance from the students. Because we are constantly on and off the field. We're putting in as much time as we have and we're putting in physical activity and we practice two nights a week for three hours a day and then some most Saturdays we have practice. We have to put a lot of physical and mental disabilities. We do a lot of heavy lifting with our instruments and it's very exhausting. I don't think those band students need a PE credit. I just don't see how that really makes sense. Uh, band is not PE. Band seems like they get everything they want anyways. All they do is march. Just because you get a trophy for doing something doesn't mean it's a PE class. All right, guys, we'll be right back after the break. So, tell me, you guys, how was your experience and how did you feel getting asked to the Sadie Hawkins dance? My experience getting asked to the Seti Hawkins dance was, it was pretty, like, I don't know, it was cool because I, like, I wasn't expecting it at all and my girlfriend knew I don't like dances, so I don't really like to go. So, the way she asked me, she held a poster with a bunch of, of our pictures and she had a skateboard, um, one of my skateboards in her hand and on the skateboard she wrote, um, I can't picture you leaving me all alone at Sadie Hawkins. You know, and it was it was great. It was great. My girlfriend, she kind of like surprised me because she's really shy and she's not like into asking people stuff like that. So she like asked me at lunch in front of like everybody, which was like, oh my gosh, my face turned red. And that usually doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, it was cool. I liked it. She got me a bunch of candy and junk. While we here at Tiger TV hope that none of you have spent much time in the nurse's office, we would also like to point out that nurses are people too. So we sent Sean to ask them some questions. I come from a family of nurses. My mom's a nurse, my two, three of my sisters are a nurse, and my brother is a nurse, but um, I just, I wanted to help others and I knew that would be um, one way I could make people feel better and do something and actually um, it was a great reward at the end of my day that I helped others and I made a difference. I feel like here at the school that I get to help the kids on a daily basis. Whether they just need to come in for you know, a break from class or whatever, they need to talk to somebody. Because um, you never know what you're going to do and what's going to happen here at the school on a daily basis. You never know what you're going to end up with. I feel like I help a student pretty much every day. They're just, their needs are different from day to day. Probably my mom. Because she has always been there for me. Um, always checking in with me, but also understands why I'm so busy all the time and I can't call. Um, but she's always loving and caring. She's um, brought me up, I think, to care about others and nurture other people. And that's why I look up to her so much. If I'm going to be like anybody in my life, I would be like my mom. I would say if you feel it in your heart to become a nurse and you're willing to help others under so many different circumstances, then do that and follow your heart and you'll like, I mean, if you know when you start your job that you, you like it, then you're going to be okay. Nursing is not an easy job, but there's all kinds of um, nursing opportunities within the field, so if you don't like one part of nursing, you can always try something else. We um, moved here about 20 some years ago. My husband was um, relocated with the Missouri State Highway Patrol. So we've been here ever since. When I do have free time, um, I do like to read books. Um, but I have uh, three children and a husband, and so my free time is very little, minimal. Um, but I like to hang out with my kids. Um, whether it's watching TV, eating popcorn with them, just kind of hanging out and cuddling up with them. Um, that's pretty much what I do in my free time. I 
I've always wanted to travel to Hawaii. I think it's just a really beautiful place where it's warm all the time, blue skies, clear water. I just, I love the beach, so I would choose to go to Hawaii. Uh, now we can go back to the good old days. Juice box sipping, living room sitting, and talking about our favorite cartoons from way back when. Or at least that's what we sent Alex to ask all of you guys out there. So, what's your favorite cartoon character? Scooby-Doo. <laughs> because of Scooby Snacks, and he's just crazy. Johnny Bravo. Uh, I would have to say Deadpool. It would have to be the little green guy from Teen Titans Go Beast Boy. Tom, from Tom and Jerry. Probably Roger from American Dad, because he's a great alien who's very weird and confused on life. Um, Homer Simpson. <laughs> My favorite cartoon character is Jerry from Tom and Jerry, because he's cute, and he's playful, and yeah. Uh, Coda from Brother Bear. Danny Phantom. Honestly, I have to say Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. Just the mad science was just so enthralling when I was a little kid. All right. Thank you. Um, you know, that snap from Chalk Song, you remember that? That was my favorite cartoon character. Yeah, I really liked that TV show. My favorite cartoon character was Johnny from Driving Bravo. Hey, Mama. Well, with basketball very sadly coming to an end, we decided it would be a good idea to show you some highlights from girls and boys basketball. All right, thank you, Duncan. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Tiger TV Sports here where we love sports more than Michael Bay likes blowing things up. My name is Jose Hernandez and I am once again your sportscaster for this episode of Tiger TV. Now we are in the winter season for sports currently. Starting on Monday, Waynesville will make the transition into spring sports such as track and field, boys tennis, girls soccer, and baseball. But we can't forget our past winter season sports such as boys and girls basketball and wrestling. Now this year was quite a great year for both sports wrestling events all the way to state. Those wrestlers representing Waynesville were Brandon Fancher, Michael Cassidy, David Hawk, Sean Sachs, Taylor Brooke, and Todd Angel. The ones who medaled were Todd Angel, David Hawk, and Sean Sachs. Congratulations, guys. Now on the basketball side of winter, we've seen a very familiar varsity lineup for the guys, consisting of seniors Joe Johnson, Reggie Walker, Dwayne Morton, Trey Simpson, and Cedric Williams. We also saw some new faces to add up to the lineup, such as junior Tavon Napoma. Now on the girls' side of basketball, it was a very interesting and successful season for our Lady Tigers, with a very interesting lineup consisting of only one senior, Callie Bildner, along with sophomore Kiara Shoulders and juniors Nina Kesey, Ashton Pills, and Sydney Markham. Now let's take a look back at some highlights for both boys and girls basketball. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed these video highlights of the season for basketball. And I say so myself, it was a great season for both boys and girls. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you tune in to the next episode of Tiger TV to get the scoop on sports. And back to you, Reagan. 
Congratulations to the girls and boys basketball team for having great seasons and keep up the good work for next season. For our next story, we decided to go around and ask who has made your day better? Thank you. We're at the Waynesville High School and we're asking Waynesville students to give a shout out to whomever they want. Let's go. I'll give a shout out to Carly Rose, Acosta. Shout, shout out, out to, to Ray Gang, Gang Gang. We love you. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to my brother, Zaren. You know how we rocking. It's, it's forever, bro. I want to give a shout out to Xavier. You know how we rocking. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Rayshawn Pickett for being my best friend. Shout out to my boy Landon James. You know how you out there. We do a gang gang. You know how you in this. <laughs> shout out to squad out there. Keyshawn, my baby. Shout out to him. Shout out to Tamia, Miss Puff. Shout out to Kavana. I hate her, but she's still my sister. Shout out to God. G-O-D. This is Sean, senior class of 2016. I just want to give a shout out to Mr. Ogle, the best literature teacher I've ever had in my entire four years of high school. Um, I give a shout out to Matt. Matt, this dude's awesome at French. He really is. Look at him. Just look at him. Look at him walk. Man, that guy is so cool. Uh, shout out to Imani because she is the best friend I could ever have. Hey, shout out to my man Dorian. Hey, you know, hey, you rocking. Hey, that's my dog. That's my dog right there. How you doing, world? I like to shout out to God, you know. That's my love. And shout out to Track. Hey, I'd like to shout out my teacher, Ms. Jones. She's walking down the hallway down there. Love her. She's great to, a great gal. Shout out to Ms. Seacar. She's been my buddy since freshman year. She calls me princess, so I really like her. And shout out to Ms. Hewitt and Ms. Jeter. I love the art teachers. Shout out to my lunch table. They're the best. Love you guys. I give a shout out to my man, Cissé, right here. And I give a shout out to Felix and Dash, my two best friends. I'd like to give a shout out to my girlfriend, Abigail Alexandra Vasquez, number 14 on the soccer team. I want to give a shout out to um, Tiana Cogdell, <laughs> Mimi, Radiant, Captain, and Roshana. Shout out to Mama. I need to give a shout out to my girl, Jay, Tamia. P.O.P. Hold it down. <laughs> B.O.B. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it for this week. Make sure to come back and see us next week. I'm Duncan. And I'm Reagan. See you next time on, on Tiger, Tiger TV. TV.